Hey you guys, the lighting's weird. Let's do it this way. It's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am here with a Scentsy haul. And so let's get started. This is not all stuff for me, um, but I do have um, some people that are equally addicted to wax that are um, in my tribe. And so we placed a group order and I honestly don't remember anything that's in it. Um, tell me this, you guys, in the comments below. Do you guys have the experience that I have, which is I order wax, like Scentsy Wax or any other wax, and um, I have no idea what I'm opening when it comes. That's me. Anyway, so um, I do want to say that in case you guys like have been watching my channel, I've been doing a lot of vendor hauls. I do sell Scentsy. Um, I don't have this channel to like promote m my business or whatever. I just like Scentsy. Um, and I just want to say like, you guys see me haul vendor wax and I like vendor wax for what it is. The reason that I buy Scentsy um, and sell Scentsy is because I find it just has amazing performance. Like honestly, um, I don't find that all of their blends or wax products are like super great performers all the time. Um, but for the most part where I could get like this, I can get like eight hours out of this. I can get like, you know, solid 24 hours. And so for me, um, the performance of the wax for the most part is, um, what I'm here for. And I do think that vendor wax has its place because it's the blends and, um, the things that we, um, you know, like the new experimental stuff you can't beat, but for, for Scentsy, um, the performance is just incredible. So for example, this weekend, um, I'm going out of town and I have somebody who's going to come watch my animals and I, um, I change my wax every day usually, but I know that I won't be here, but my warmers will be on and somebody will be coming in. And so I kind of want my house to smell nice. So I for sure will use Scentsy, right? Because I'm not going to be here to change the wax. I need something that'll perform for two days because I'll be gone on the weekend. And so I immediately turned to Scentsy. Um, so for me, that's the reason that I sell Scentsy and buy Scentsy is because it's a great performing product. So um, yeah, let's get started. So first I get the packing slip. I always recommend that you look at your packing slip um, because you might not know that something is back ordered. In this, um, you'll see I got all my items. Nothing is back ordered. So um, I got these guys and this um so another night box oh. so i love that sensi um has boxes inside of boxes um because they they do package their products very nicely i have to say i have never had anything come damaged or destroyed because they do really package things nicely so the first thing I got, I'm going to show you is I got these, I got one, two, three, four. And so this is, um, clothesline Scentsy Fresh. And if you've seen my um, video before, um, about Scentsy Fresh, I don't routinely use like Febreze or fabric refresher, but I happened to get one of these in the whiff box. And this is an incredible performer. I'm super impressed with it. So I spray my couches cause I have dogs and they get on my couches. Um, and I spray my like bed and stuff like between washes. And this scents the whole room, it's super strong. So I recommended this. I have a friend and hit, um, her husband is a plumber and, um, he sprays like the inside of his van and stuff like their work van and like loves it. So he, they bought three cause they like are in on it. And then one of my friends was like, what do you think the best Scentsy Fresh is? And I'm like, clothesline girl, strongest. She's got a teenage boy, clothesline. Um, then I had um, some folks get some fragrance flowers. So this is um, watermelon tangerine. Um, and this one is um, sea salt and avocado. And for those of you that haven't seen a fragrance flower or haven't seen one in a while, a fragrance flower is um, a nifty little thing. It has 
oil. You unscrew this top, you put this top, that's just decorative really, on. And then um, it comes with a flower. And this flower is like a reed diffuser. So you put this into the oil, it soaks up the oil, and um, and it's it fragrances very nicely. I have one in my office at work, and I cannot tell you the number of times that people walk into my office and tell me it smells good. And I have to say, I really love that. I know that sounds silly, but it's just one of those things that every time somebody says, your office smells amazing, um, I, I say, you know, it's these. And they last for about 60 days, some of them even more. So I'm always really impressed. Um, my friend also got um, a bunch of soaps. So she got pineapple, coconut, vanilla, watermelon tangerine prickly pear and agave and shimmer body wash um we got some scent packs in now and zen two of those and then two clothesline both of those are super strong performers we got a best bud suds shampoo and orange zest and nectar and then we got some scentsy pods so prickly pear and agave, I love the scent. It is green and sweet at the same time. It smells a little bit fruity. I think it actually is in the fruity category, but um, like I don't know that I'd necessarily think, I think green when I smell it mostly. She got two iridescent pearls and in the, in the um, pods, they're actually really smell very strong. They're like kind of pineapple-y and a little bit coconutty maybe so and then she got two clean breezes and the clean breeze to me smells like wet laundry um and clothesline smells like dry laundry to me and then i got a ton of wax so let's just get into it first one is sand swept i am really liking sand swept it might even be club worthy to me sand swept um smells like lemon but the lemon is in the background so a lot of lemon scents like that's what you smell first and then things come in the background this smells like sand salt and rock and then like lemon in the background it's just su such a like a unique amazing scent great performer it's one of those ones that linger um even after the warmers are turned off apricot vanilla is exactly that apricot and vanilla um i find that the apricot is a little candied, but that's okay. Um, this is really light on performance for me. Um, some people have had great success with that. Um, summer holiday, which is toasty marshmallow, like salty sea air kind of, and flint. Um, it's not my jam, but lots of people love it. This one is my jam, lemon verbena. I can smell it without even opening it. Lemon Verbena is like pledge furniture polish in a great way. <laughs> um, so my hero is a man. It's like a good man. Like a guy like dressed up for the night, but like a rugged guy dressed up for the night. Like Cologne. Mm, good. Rainbow Sherbert. I don't care that it doesn't have an R at the end and it's Sherbet. I don't say that. So this to me is a really good performer, but it has, it has um, like um, raspberry and orange and lime smells kind of all mixed together. And the orange smell almost smells like it's verging on Satsuma, which I love, I love Satsuma. But in this iteration, it smells like a little too sharp. Um, it's, this is a good performer if you like kind of those bright fruity scents, almost tart. Um, I'm still trying to come around to, to like just only fruit. That's I'm still working on that. Okay, Mahalo Coconut is coconut, um, pineapple, and floral, I believe. Um, I don't have great success with this one either. Lavender Cotton. I have this in the Scentsy Fresh. It is powdery herbal lavender or like herbal lavender and kind of powdery cotton. 
Um, it's a good performer for sure. I have, oh, I'll wait on that one. <laughs> I have aloe vera and ivy. This to me smells like candied watermelon. I can't change my mind about it. So like I can't, other people smell like a green note. I don't smell any of that. I just only smell candied watermelon. This, I love tangerine creamsicle. It smells like a orange, like bright orange um, creamsicle. I mean, that, it's vanilla ice cream, the whole deal. Um, Johnny, Johnny Appleseed is apples and it is apples and pears. I get the pear. A lot of people just get apple, but I get apple and pear. Skinny Dippin is very nice um, sometimes. Today it's nice for me. Um, it is um, like tropical fruits, basically. Um, it's very well loved. Camu Camu, I love this. I wish it was a little stronger, but it is such a pretty scent. Oh, it's hard to describe. I don't know what a Camu Camu is, but it's like tropical notes, but like special with like a little bit of um, like a hint maybe of floral. I don't know. Pineapple Pucker and Pineapple Pucker is just pineapple. Like to me, it's like fresh pineapple blended up and that's all. And then the last thing is the only thing I got from the Mother's Day collection, Volumen Beach. So um, I don't know if you can see, but look, it's got some really pretty like flowers and stuff. Does that, does that show for y'all? Um, but those roses and things, very nice. So um, there's a lot of things still available for the, um, the Mother's Day collection. I really do want the scrubs, both Bloom and Beach and Mahalo Coconut, but I don't use, I don't use lotion. It's not that I don't use Scentsy lotion. I just am not a big lotion person. So I just use it like when I have really dry skin and my skin doesn't get dry very often. So I'm not like, I'm not, a, I'm just not a lotion-y person. And so I feel like that's a waste to spend the money on something that I'm not going to use. So I'm hoping that maybe it makes its way to the clearance. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so I got this Bloom and Beach. Hmm. Okay, so this is um, supposed to be roses and fruit. It's very floral, almost only rose. If you've smelled Simply Rose and you liked it, that's essentially what this is. It does have like a little bit of tropical fruit note, but only bar barely. It is very rose. So I like rose, but this is the powdery rose that people call like grandma rose this is this is not fruity rose even though fruit is in the um description it is mostly just it is mostly just rose that's really all i get which is not off-putting for me but um our valentine's collection had a bar called petal pals which had rose and some other like berry notes mixed into it and I think that that's probably more pleasing to people that are like anti-floral. If you're pro-floral, like this is floral, floral. And um, it is it is very floral. So um, it does smell strong. Like it's gonna be a good performer, I think, which I'll let you know, of course, cause I'll melt it. But um, if you got this, let me know what you think. Es todo, that's it, that's my haul. Um, I will be out of town this weekend. Um, and I hope you guys have a lovely weekend. I will come back to you with my empties. Um, hopefully I'll have, um, a few more things melted by then and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.